Hi, Professor Harshman here, and welcome to Introduction to Screen Printing and Stencils. Um, I am going to go over the supply list for things that you will need for the class. Um, and if you have any questions, you can email me afterwards. So this is all on ELC. There is a small kit that you're going to order directly from Speedball, and they're going to give you 30% off, so that's great. And when you order it from them, I'll post directions on how to order it on ELC and they will send you the items directly. So um, I'm sending out this video earlier so you can get all your supplies. Um, the first thing they're going to send you is, uh, is a, um, a craft knife with 11 blades, which is an X-Acto. Um, I have a scalpel here that I use, but they'll be sending you an X-Acto knife. Um, you will be getting a 12 inch squeegee. This is what we're going to be using when we're printing screen prints. They're going to send you a pair of hinge clamps and I'm going to provide you with a piece of wood. And with that, with these, these big clamps, so you will be able to create a printing station, oops, make sure it's in the picture, to have at home. Okay, it comes with screws to screw them in, so you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a, a drill, you know, a drill, a cordless drill or, or not, to put them into the wood, it makes it a little easier. And I'll show you, I'm just going to quickly pick this up. So it's going to be a piece of wood that you're going to put clamps on. And this makes your printing station. So I'll provide you with the wood. And that way, whoops, sorry, you can easily print at home. And all my videos, I am printing at home right here on this table. Um, and then you're going to get a bottle of Speedball Speed Clean, which we'll use to take out the screen filler. And you're going to get screen filler and drawing fluid that we're going to use. This comes as set. And we'll be using this in a couple of our prints. And the Speed Clean takes out the screen filler. Okay, so that you will buy directly from Speedball. And then they're going to give you a couple free sample packs of some paper. Um, so in our semester, you're going to need some brushes. I can tell you what kind of brushes to get because you may have brushes already. I have some just different sizes here. Um, it really depends on what marks you're making, like what your design looks like. You might need a little tiny brush and you might need a bigger brush. Um, so you can wait until we get to that, but you probably already have some paint brushes, um, but you will need those later in the semester. You'll need paper, and what I suggest here is Arnhem paper, which is a rag paper, which is 22 by 30, which will tear down um, for our print size. Other papers you could use, um, white Reeves BFK. My favorite paper for screen printing is Arches 88, which is a really smooth white paper. It's made for screen printing. It's a little more expensive though. So I'm giving you the option for Arnhem or BFK because they're cheaper. Um, you'll need some sort of water bowl or bucket. I just use, this is an old screen printing um, ink bucket that I use for my bucket so it can be anything you probably don't have to buy that but you're gonna need it um, I say sketchbook or paper at least 11 by 14 to do designs for prints so you may have a sketchbook paper at home um, or you just need paper that size because you'll be doing drawings um, to use as your template for your prints. so you don't have to go out and buy a new sketchbook but you need paper that's at least 11 by 14 and you'll need a couple of those um, we're doing five assignments throughout the year, so the semester, so you'll probably need four or five sheets of that. Um, and then the next thing I say is colored pencils, crayons, watercolor, whatever. You probably have this already. You need something that you can draw with in color to make those drawings um, to use as your template for your prints. So if you have nothing, I would say just go out and buy like a cheap set of colored pencils. Um, Rubber gloves for cleanup, I use these kind of kitchen type gloves so I can use them over and over again. Um, a kitchen sponge, and I'm really specific about it. Like I just mean, like mine's kind of gross right now, but just a plain old cellulose kitchen sponge for cleanup. If you get those kind that are like plasticky, um, 
they don't hold water as well and they're not as easy to use. So just go to the grocery store and get these cello kitchen sponges. Um, you'll need uh, rubber spatulas. Again, you can get this at the grocery store or something to mix ink in. I, they usually come in a set of three or four. You can go to the dollar store, one of those places, and get spatulas. And you'll need several for when you're mixing ink. Um, I'm going to give you a couple plastic containers to mix ink in, but you may need more. And so what I actually use is I hold on to things that I get at the grocery store, cottage cheese, yogurt containers, you know, anything like that. It has, has, have, it has to have a lid. You need a tight fitting container. So start holding on to deli containers you might get stuff in and wash them out so you can use them. Um, Clear packing tape, and I'm very specific about this, that you get Scotch brand packing tape. Um, Scotch brand heavy duty packing tape, you can get it at Lowe's. And the reason I say get this brand is because it doesn't leave tape residue, like little tape boogers on your screen. And as you watch my videos, you'll see I'm a big taper of screens to protect my screen. And I you need to buy the more expensive tape because if you get the cheap stuff, you're going to be rubbing little tape boogers off the surface of your screen and that's no fun. Um, I actually have this really nice um, tape dispenser I bought years ago. They're pretty expensive. It's like 60 bucks for this one. Um, but it makes my life so much easier because I just have to tear off tape like from a tape dispenser rather than trying to rip it with my mouth or scissors or those awkward tape dispensers they sell for packaging. Um, you can get a cheaper one. It's just not as heavy duty as this one for about $15 from Uline. If you're interested in that, let me know and I'll give you the link. I love my tape dispenser. Um, you'll need a portfolio with handles and I put a link. It doesn't have to be a fancy thing, just a paper portfolio to fit your prints in. Okay, most important thing, right? We're doing screen printing, so you need screens. And I have done a lot of looking online and I've tried to get you the best price. Um, I want you to order two screens that are 20 by 24 with a 195 mesh count. The higher the mesh count, the mesh count is how many, what is the mesh, how many overlapping of mesh per inch there is. The higher the number, the tighter the weave, which is good for really fine detail, not as good for flatter areas. So I got a mesh that's somewhere in the middle um, which makes it more affordable. So get the 195 mesh. I've ordered them from Total Ink Solutions um, and that's one of the best prices I've seen and they're aluminum screens. So when you get them, now mine has an image on it because so I'm in the middle of doing a video for you guys, um, but it'll look like this and it'll have white mesh and aluminum screen. So you need to be careful not to rip the screen uh, but you'll need two screens. Um, then registration pins and tabs. My registration tabs. Here they are. The registration tabs look like this. They're two small metal, uh, little metal sheets with a little bit of raised dot on it. You'll use these for registration. So you need two of these. And then you need registration tabs to go with them. Now the tabs I have here look a little different than what I'm having you order because the company that I ordered mine from is now out of business. Uh, but they're little plastic tabs with a hole in the middle and they fit on the plastic pins and we'll use this for registration. So the ones I'm having you get are square. They're not rounded like mine are, but the same thing. Um, you'll also need some tape to put the tabs on with. And you can use the Scotch brand tap packing tape, but as I explained later in the videos, it's a little wide. So I don't have this on the list, but you may want to get just some masking tape or painter's tape that's only, you know, a half an inch um, wide, or you can get it a little thinner to tape on your registration tabs on your paper. So add this to your list. Um, just you might want to get some painter's tape. Um, the other thing is a newsprint pad. You'll need some newsprint to print on. Um, this I have down here, you need to get some sort of scrub brush. I don't know, I just had this around my house. Um, it doesn't have to be as big as this one, but something with a, 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 a bristle brush that's stiff. Um, and you can probably get something like this at the grocery store. This will be for cleaning out your screens. Um, 
and paper towels. Um, so you probably have these around your house, but you'll need some paper towels for um, a little bit of our cleanup. So I think that is everything. You know, there might be little sundries. You might need a pencil to draw something on the screen. Um, yes, you actually will need a pencil. I'm assuming you all have a pencil. Um, if you don't have a pencil, buy a pencil because we'll be um, drawing on our screen a little bit to know where to put our drawing fluid in. You might need a small ruler to actually draw your rectangle out on the screen. These are things I assume you have. Um, but if you have any questions about any of this, uh, let me know. So the nice thing about this class, even though you've got to buy sort of a bunch of supplies, you are going to be equipped to set up your own printing station at home and keep screen printing once our class is over. So that's really great. Now I have um, the nice ability that I have these big glass top tables that I work on in my studio at home. You know, when you have your printing board at home, you're going to be printing at home, so I don't know what table you'll be using, but you may want to get a big drop cloth or an old sheet or something to put over your table so you don't get any ink on it or mar it or anything like that. Um, but you can just use an old sheet for that. So if you have any questions about any of our materials, let me know.